welcome to my channel and today I have another theatre vlog for you. Today I'm actually going to go and see Beauty and the Beast at the Manchester Palace Theatre. Um, I have seen Beauty and the Beast before, I went last year in October to see it at the Liverpool Empire. Uh, when we went there we were sat at the very back of the upper tier and then today I'm sat right at the front in the store so I'm going to see how different it is. Also when I went to the Liverpool show um, during the transformation scene of the Beast, so, uh, there was a technical difficulty, so we didn't actually see the transformation scene of the Beast. So I'm really excited to see that tonight and see that up close. So yeah, I'm really excited. So I'm actually sat in the stores. I'm sat in row BB, BB35. So I think it's like second row from the front. However, there's no no seats in the front of my row. So it's technically like being sat at the front. Uh, I'm on a. I've got a side view. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited and I only paid £20 for my ticket because I think a week before the show all the um, single seat tickets that are left for the show they reduced down to the cheapest ticket price so it was reduced to £20 this ticket it should have been a £75 ticket so I'm really excited to go and see it so um, I'm not getting any food before the show I've eaten dinner now I'm just going straight to the theatre uh, to see the show so I will show you what the theatre looks like how they set up show you the merch show you my seat and show you the view from my seat and um, so yeah really excited so yeah let's head out and I'll get back to you probably now when I'm at the tram stop so I'm just at the tram stop now just getting my ticket Oh, that's not right. Three minutes to wait now to be cut. So, what's this? We're going to see Beauty and the Beast. So, I take my Disney purse. I think it has got bell mitts in the work. I think I should. I've also got my chip water bottle with me today and my Beauty and the Beast bag. Come on, stick on. just got off the tram now at St Peter's Square, it's just gone half six, so an hour till the show starts. I'm going to go to the theatre now and have a look around to see what they've got there. Um, so yeah, I'll get back to you now once we're at the theatre. Here we go, I'm just walking up to the theatre now. It's just here in front of me. So, I'm really excited to see it in this theatre. I think it's just open so you can actually go in now as well. So. Might as well head straight in.
just have a go up to the ground today and see if there's any clear up there. And all sometimes kind of like sell my things. I thought I'd go and have a quick look. <laughs> I'm just in the auditorium now. So walking down to my seat. Now this is my seat. now back from the theatre and I had such an amazing time I really enjoyed seeing it this time uh, I enjoyed it last time I went to see it at Liverpool but I really enjoyed it so much more this time at the palace I think it must have been because I was sat closer I was like it's like front row, front row there's no one in front time in front of me full view of the stage I could obviously see all the actors faces all the facial expressions and it just seemed to make it so much um, more fun, I think, because I could see the actors' faces and their facial expressions. It was more funny. Um, so, yeah, usually I say, like, sitting at the back is just as fun. You get just as good view. But I actually think that sitting at the front was so good, especially since I only paid £20 for my ticket. I was, I was sat on row BB seat 35. That ticket should usually be £75, but they were selling off all the single seat tickets uh, for £20, so I only paid £20 for that ticket, and it was worth it. I'm so glad that I went again um, and sat so close. It was it was just so good sitting there. Yes, yeah, so I definitely recommend that seat. Um, it was really good. Obviously, you've got plenty of leg room because there's no one sat in front of you. Um, I would say if you can sit one over, you would have a better view. Um, sometimes if people are on the far left of the stage, you might not be able to see them very well. Um, but it very rarely was there anything on that side of the stage uh, that I couldn't see. Um, but if I was one seat over, I would have been able to see everything. Um, but I think the seat next to mine is more expensive. So it depends, but I would definitely sit there again. Especially if I can get a £20 ticket again, because yeah, the view was very, very good. Obviously, it is a side on view, and there's some people prefer um, centre view, but I didn't mind the side on view. Actually, there was a couple of times 
on stage where some characters on the stage were blocking the view of the main characters that were performing. Um, it happened a few times. And I just thought if the character was just a tiny bit more that way, then everyone could see what they were supposed to be seeing. So I think maybe staging, um, they maybe need to think about that a little bit because there's a part where the beast first comes in when, um, to see Maurice when he sat in his chair and Mrs Potts was stood right in front of my view so I couldn't see the beast or Maurice and she was just, she just stood there watching it. If she had been slightly to the left then I could have seen Maurice and the beast. Um, so yeah that was the only bit and then there's another point again where another character stood in the way I couldn't see the main characters which should do in the performance. But that was it but everything else is amazing the sets are amazing the costumes are so good the lighting is amazing the special effects oh and what was great this time i actually got to see the transformation scene because when i went to liverpool um something happened there was a technical fault i think the actor might have got hurt on it uh, and they had to stop it and they didn't redo it so i didn't get to see the transformation scene before but this time i did so yeah, it was really, really good to see that. I have to say, Cogsworth and Lumiere were hilarious in this. They were so funny. And when I watched it the first time, I didn't realise how funny they were. And they were the same actors and everything. I just think sitting closer, because I could see the facial expressions, it just made it a lot funnier. And yeah, they were just hilarious. I really enjoyed both those actors' performances. Cogsworth, I found Cogsworth really, really funny. He was really, really good. He was played by Nigel Richards. He was so funny. I really, really enjoyed his performance of Cogsworth. Lumiere as well was really, really good. I also enjoyed the um, wardrobe. Uh, the wardrobe was actually an understudy today. Um, it was Emily Squibb playing the wardrobe and she's an understudy. But I really enjoyed her performance. I thought she was really, really good. Um, the regular wardrobe is usually Samantha Bingley. Um, I think she was good last time I saw her um, at Liverpool because I saw her at, as Liverpool. But I, yeah, I just really enjoyed Emily's performance. I thought she was really, really good. So yeah, I really enjoyed the all the ch enchanted objects. They were all really good. Also, this time I got to see Courtney Stapleton's belt. Last time I went, it was Grace Swaby. Is it Swaby? Swaby? I'm not sure. Uh, how you pronounce her name but it was Grace who was the understudy she played Belle last time again she was really really good but it's nice to see Courtney's take on Belle as well I like to when I go to see different different performers playing the part it just makes it a bit more interesting so yeah I was really glad to see Courtney this time also playing Beast now is Shark Taylor when I went to the big night of musicals he was the one uh, performing with Courtney um, he was just taking over the role of Beast. Um, when I went to see it in Liverpool, it was Emmanuel Kojo playing Beast. Um, I really, really enjoy Shaq Taylor. His voice is so nice. I love his voice. I love the sound of his voice. So he played the Beast amazingly. I loved his performance on the Beast. And I loved the Beast song. I just love Shaq's performance of uh, If I Can't Love Her. Um, I thought it was really, really nice. Loved his voice on that song. So yeah, the rest of the cast was the same cast that I saw at Liverpool. It was just Belle, who was played by Courtney this time and was played by Grace last time. Beast was played by Shaq Taylor this time. Last time it was played by Emmanuel Cujo. And the wardrobe this time was played by Emily Squibby. And last time was played... Last time I was played by Samantha Bingley. So yeah, it was nice to see the different people playing those parts. So merch wise, I didn't buy any merch. It's so expensive at Beauty and the Beast, it really is. I think they just reduced something a little bit. I'm pretty sure when I went last time, when I went to see it at Liverpool, I bought this. I'm pretty sure I paid £12 for this. This time they were £10 or two for 15 so I think they're trying to do a lot of offers now. There's also an offer on, I think if you bought the fleece blanket, you got a travel mug and something else for £40. So they're trying to do offers, I think, to try and sell more merch. Um, but it is very expensive. I think I did film all the merch for you. There's no price list um, there. I'm not sure if there was a price list at Liverpool. 
um, if I can find a price list I'll put it in the video um, but yeah they're very very expensive <laughs> I think one of the hoodies that I really liked was £50 I just don't have that money to spend so I didn't buy anything I was thinking about buying a pin but they were £10 for a little pin and I just think it's really expensive so I didn't get one. I already had the, the magnets. I didn't really need anything else. I didn't even buy a program because I thought, well, the, the cast is pretty much the same. The only main, the only um, difference I think is um, Beast because obviously Emmanuel Kojo has been replaced by Shaq Taylor. That is the only cast change I think that's happened between uh, Manchester and Liverpool. All the rest of the cast are the same. Except for the chips, I think the chips, you know, the little boy that plays chip, I think they change depending on where you are. So he was different as well, but all the rest of the cast was the same. So I didn't really see a point in buying a new program. Um, so I didn't. Programs are £5. Um, I just didn't see the point of buying another one, so I didn't buy one. But I do have my program from when I went to Liverpool, so I can show you the cast um, biographies in here um, so it's pretty much the same uh, so if you haven't seen my Liverpool vlog then I will show you uh, the cast in this one now because like I said it's exactly the same cast more or less so yeah this is my Liverpool program uh, as they are both ATG theatres the layout of the program is exactly the same so in the Palace one all that's different is it has the Palace Theatre information here and then usually in the Palace ones they have a little bit of information about the Palace Theatre and then pretty much the rest of it was the same more or less so you have your page like this um, like you know the musical numbers and the acts and then I have a page like this for telling you the cast uh, the ensemble, the swings, and the understudies. And then they had the cast biographies. So the prologue at the beginning is voiced by Angela Lansbury, who um, was Mrs. Potts in the uh, original movie. Then for Belle, we had Courtney Stapleton. This is Courtney, and she's been in quite a few good sh shows actually. She's been in Dear Evan Hansen, she's been in Six, she's been in Bow of Hell, she's been in Les Mis, and she's been in Mamma Mia, so she's been in some good shows. Um, obviously, Emmanuel Cujo was in it at Liverpool, it's now Shaq Taylor. I don't obviously have anything for Shaq in this one, unfortunately, so I can't show you his biography. Um, this is Lumia, Gavin Lee, he's been in a lot of things, a few things I can pick out, he's been in Les Mis, Mary Poppins, yeah, a lot of stuff. Uh, Tom Senior was Gaston, he's been in Hairspray, School of Rock, Jersey Boys, um, and then Sam Bailey who is Mrs Potts. Ooh. She's best known for being on X Factor. Uh, I think she's been in a few other theatre shows before this one. In Fat Friends, Chicago, 42nd Street. So yeah, she's been in a few, few things. Cogsurf was Nigel Richards. Like I said, he was so funny. He was so good as Cogsurf. I really, really enjoyed his uh, performance. Uh, he's been in a few, quite a lot of things as well. Notably, he's been in Phantom of the Opera, uh, Les Mis, yeah, a lot of stuff. Then Martin Ball was Maurice. Again, he's been in Les Mis, Wicked, Mamma Mia, a lot, a lot of productions. So Samantha Bingley is the one who usually plays the wardrobe, but we had the understudy on at this performance. So I'll show you who was playing. So at this performance we had Emily Squibby 
play in the wardrobe. She is a swing and she's been in things like Matilda, The Wizard of Oz. So yeah, she played the wardrobe and I actually really loved her performance. I thought it was very, very good. Then we had Louis Stockel as Le Fou. He looks very different in that picture. Um, I think it's the beard, he doesn't have the beard as Le Fou. Um, but yeah, he's not actually been in that much. Um, he's been in Miss Saigon Tour, Mamma Mia, and Oliver and Barnum. So I wonder if I've seen him in any of them. I've seen the Miss Saigon Tour, I've seen the Mamma Mia Tour. Um, and I've seen the Barnum tour, so I'll have to look at my programmes and see if he was in any of the ones that I've seen. Then we have Emma Caffrey as Babette. She's been in things like 42nd Street, Annie Get Your Gun, Funny Girl, White Christmas, Singing in the Rain. So she's been in a few, a few things. And then... I think your ensemble for Liverpool was the same. There we go, that's the rest of the ensemble. And then the Liverpool one, we actually showed you some of the merch. And yeah, so that is your cast. Your cast biographies. So yeah, Beauty and the Beast is on at the Palace Theatre in Manchester till the 4th of June. I'm not sure where it's going to next on the tour, but I'll link down below their webpage so you can see where it is going to next and if it's coming to a town near you. So if you want to see it, you can get tickets at a venue near you. So yeah, I'll link all that down below for you. I'll also link the ATG website for the Palace Theatre, so if you want to buy tickets for Palace Theatre, I'll leave a link down below for you. What's nice about the theatre actually was the Lion King is actually coming to that theatre I think in October and they had lots of Lion King costumes there on um, different levels of the theatre they had different costumes I think I went to all of the ones that they had to show you but I thought it was really nice got to see the Lion King costumes uh, so yeah I thought it was really nice I think it was, was it Simba, Nala, um, Yazu and the zebra and it was someone else I can't remember who else but obviously I've put it in the video so it's nice to see those costumes getting ready for the Lion King coming back to the palace I think in October I think it starts and we do have tickets for that actually we've got tickets for in December for Lawrence's birthday so really looking forward to that so yeah I definitely would recommend seeing the show like I said this is the second time and the second time I've actually enjoyed it a lot more um, but I still really really enjoyed it sat at the back so you don't have to sit at the front to enjoy the show I've sat at the very very back row and the very very front row I enjoyed it both times but I did enjoy it I have to admit I did enjoy it that little bit more sat at the front because I could see the facial expressions more it did make some of the funny moments a bit more funnier but I did still really really enjoy it sat at the back as well so it just depends on what you can afford but if, if you can only afford the back seats still go because it's still really really amazing show so i do have a few more theatre shows booked i have singing in the rain book for next week i'm gonna book the share show for the week after just not got around to doing it yet and then in june we're actually going to london and we have frozen booked and we're hoping to book maybe dear evan hansen and possibly and julia as well so there's definitely going to be quite a few more theatre vlogs coming. I've also got Sister App booked as well for Manchester in June. So yeah, it's going to be quite a few theatre vlogs coming. So if you love theatre vlogs, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified when all those go up. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this little video. If you have, please do give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.